Hello YouTube. In November of last year, I posted a video in which I attempted to create the purine nucleotide bases, adenine and guanine, from a solution of formamide using two catalysts. In this experiment, I took 60 milliliters of formamide and heated it to 150 Celsius in the presence of two catalysts, sodium pyrophosphate and calcium carbonate. I also blasted the solution with 72 watts of UVC. Upon performing the purine test using an ammonia solution with several drops of silver nitrate, I got a brown precipitate to settle out. This was both a good and bad result. I would later find out that the brown color was due to the presence of an intermediate compound in the synthesis of purines from formamide called diamino malleonitrile. However, the purine test, when done this way, is supposed to produce a white precipitate. And so I had trouble reconciling the fact that the precipitate was supposed to be white with the result that I got. However, I came up with a solution. I found out that the intermediate diamino malleonitrile is very light sensitive. I did notice that upon standing, the color of my reddish-brown solution kept fading. And so, to remove as much diamino malleonitrile as possible, I put the flask containing the solution in a sunny window for a couple of days. Here is the result. This is my original solution from the experiment done in November of last year. It is much lighter in color. And so, as any good scientist would do, I'm going to show the experiment again and show that the solution does indeed produce a white precipitate when subjected to the same test. Okay, so I added some of the solution to a test tube. And so now we're going to add some ammonia solution to the test tube. Again, we're going to add uh, several drops of 0.1 molar silver nitrate. There it is. 0.1 molar silver nitrate. So we're going to add several drops of that to our test tube. I think this, this is a much better setup so that nobody can accuse me of doing any sleight of hand. We're going to add 10 drops. Okay, so that's 10 drops. And just like before, we have a nice precipitate, except that this time the precipitate is white, which is the expected color that you would get from the purine test. So uh, I did this test before, but uh, due to the fact that I had an impurity, the diamino malleonitrile, uh, the test, the precipitate didn't come out the color that I was expecting. So, but this is the uh, expected color that you would get from a positive purine test. So, I just want to thank everyone for watching, and uh, stay tuned for my next video.